Hello everybody. I am excited because today I'm going to glaze my clay monster. Now glaze is a special type of paint that is meant for clay projects. So after the clay project is fired, then it has a glassy feel to it. But when I paint the glaze on, it's just gonna be flat. Okay, what do I need when I glaze? A variety of brushes. Large brushes for large areas, small brushes for small areas, and then details, details, details. All right, I have the primary colors here red, blue, and yellow, and I can mix these colors to make purple, green, orange. All right, so I'm excited to get started. and I'm going to clean my brush. I have this can that has some handy ridges on the inside that I can use to really clean my brush. And I'm gonna get the, all the glaze out of my bristles. Make sure the hair on this brush is nice and clean. Try it off for good measure. And hmm, how should I paint the next part. I'm going to focus on pattern. Pattern is when something repeats. So I can repeat with a design like stripes or I could repeat with color. Now pattern makes your project more interesting to look at. It catches the attention of the audience. Here we have some other examples of patterns. Another thing that pattern does is it gives your project variety. Variety is a number of different types of things. So I want to create a number of different types of colors for my project. So I'm gonna take my brush and go for some red. So now I have my piece decorated with some red and blue stripes. I have some little, what I like to call nooks and crannies that I need to get into with a smaller brush. So I'm going to do that very slowly and carefully so that I have a nice finish. All right, so I have two coats of paint and I filled in some of those tiny areas with my smaller brushes. So I have some stripes and a pattern, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue. And I didn't paint the bottom because it's really important that we don't paint the bottom. Otherwise, it will meld itself to the kiln shelf when the properties of the paint change into that glassy look. And then I'm gonna have to break your project off with the hammer. So don't paint the bottom, any part that your project sits on. I can paint the back, but not where it sits. Now, to shake it up with some more variety, I'm going to clean my brushes. 
using those ridges and getting all that paint out. Wiping it with a paper towel. And do the same with this one. So, what do we need to know when we glaze? Use a variety of brushes. Um, small brushes for the details, medium sized brushes for medium areas. I need to paint at least three coats for a solid color. So I'm gonna paint one coat on, let it dry, paint a second coat on, let it dry. And if I have time, I'm going to add a third coat for a solid color. Remember, we should not be painting the bottom otherwise it will get stuck to the shelf so if you accidentally get glaze on the bottom remove it with a sponge if you use tiny brushes you can get into those nooks and crannies and there won't be any missing paint on your project good luck